Hey there. So uh, some more post fire drums wrap up for you guys, and a little tutorial on how to do this move right here, which was dubbed the move of the year, and which Kate from Florida came up with and bottled all of our brains with. Um, it's a variant on this move right here, this kind of stall chasing move that has been around forever. Um, but it has kind of an extra twist on it. Um, one of the, the things that makes this an interesting move, albeit um, somewhat boring, is that for one beat of the move, there's one hand that is completely immobile. That is, once the hand that's coming down is stopped, the other hand's going to stall up and come back around. And in that time, the hand that is stalled down isn't doing anything at all, right? Well, this remedies that problem. And it does so by making sure that each hand is moving, no matter whether it's the leading hand or the following hand, right? So how do we get there? Well, I'll break it down for you guys piece by piece, and hopefully uh, it'll, it'll kind of come together. So we're going to start off with uh, my, I'm, I'm going to do this mirror to you guys. So this will be my left hand for all these purposes, and this will be my right hand. So my right hand is going to start off in reverse butterfly, and it's going to come under and catch my right, or rather my left hand, right? Now, my left hand normally would stall back out top, but that's not what we're going to do this time. In the moment when the two transfer over to my right hand side, for a moment the poi are oriented away from each other in the kind of orientation that one would also use for a split opposites stall. Like this, right? So, that is exactly what we're going to do. We are going to go from chase the stall to split opposite stalls, right? Now once we're in the split opposite stalls, we're going to do something kind of funky. And that is, the left hand is on the bottom no, no matter what. It keeps going back and forth across the bottom hemisphere. When the two hands catch up to each other, over on my left hand side, that is the native side for the bottom hand, what's going to happen is it is going to become the stall chase lead. It's going to reach underneath uh, my right arm and carry it back around, right? So all together so far we have the right hand stall chases over, the left hand stall chases over, right? And um, one important thing to note is that as you're doing this, it's going to feel as though you're going to want to kind of stop your left hand when it gets back over to your left hand side, which is totally going to kill you because it actually needs to have enough momentum to get back over to the other side, right? So. Set your intentions such that rather than just stalling back and forth, you're actually going all the way around, right? And that will keep the momentum up. Now once we're back on the other side, once again we find ourselves in a position where one poi is pointed up and one poi is pointed down. So we're going to switch back into those split opposite stalls, right? This is after our left hand has still chased the right hand back over. So. Now, our left hand is on top, our right hand is on bottom, and we're in a position remarkably similar to the one we started in, wherein once the two poi meet up again on my left hand side, my right hand is going to be the stall chase lead going back over. Ah, and now you remember that's how the pattern began, right? Ergo, we can continue the pattern. One way you can think of this is that your hands are switching between same time, same direction and uh, split opposites, and you're just using stall chases to get back and forth between them. You could also do a trick exactly like this using caps and anti spin flowers uh, if you so chose. But I kind of like where this one goes. Um, mine is kind of sloppy, incidentally. I'm not uh, doing the stall chase catch over on each side as cleanly as I would like but hopefully it gets the intention across. So yeah, you can think of it as same time, same time, same direction going over, split opposites going back, same time, same direction going back over, split opposites going back, same time, same direction going back over, split opposites coming back, same time, same direction going over, split opposites coming back, and 
goodness like this. So, yeah, that's uh, a confusing explanation, I know, but uh, one, once you get cooking with it, trust me, it makes a lot more sense. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching this installment, and uh, we'll be back soon with more. Peace.